Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. No, seriously, just pretend to, because today we're talking about a car that doesn't even have a steering wheel, let alone seat belts. I present to you the Samis EM4K, an electric vehicle designed by Romanian inventor Justin Capra in the 1970s. A car so ahead of its time, even the future didn't know what to do with it. This thing is basically the love child of a spaceship, a shopping cart, and a fever dream. And best of all, it's controlled by a button on the seat. That's right, folks. No pedals, no wheel, just your butt and a button, which is also how I run my life decisions, honestly. Before we dig into the madness and genius of this electric enigma, don't forget to subscribe to the Cool Ideas channel where we dig up everything weird, wonderful, and slightly terrifying in the world of vehicles. All right, let's talk specifications, and I promise this isn't science fiction. The Samus EM4K weighs in at a featherlight 140 kilograms, 309 pounds. Add 180 kilograms, 397 pounds of batteries, and you're looking at a total vehicle weight of just 320 kilograms, 705 pounds. That's less than me after two all-you-can-eat buffets. And it tops out at a whopping 60 kilometers per hour, 37 miles per hour, which is just fast enough to beat a rascal scooter, but not fast enough to outrun the disappointment of driving something shaped like a futuristic jelly bean. And get this, the Samis doesn't use a traditional control system. Instead of a wheel or pedals, it has a button on the seat to control it. I mean, I get nervous operating an air fryer with too many presets. Who thought putting a human missile on a sofa switch was a good idea? Justin Capra, that's who. The man was basically Romania's Elon Musk, if Elon had to scavenge his rocket parts from the back of a communist-era tractor. Capra built this thing under intense restrictions in 1970s Romania, where getting a car engine was harder than finding good coffee at a gas station. The dude had to dismantle his own inventions just to build new ones. That's not engineering. That's wizardry. And speaking of legacy, Capra didn't just stop with the Samis. He built everything from microcars to jetpacks to hybrids like the Oblio 3C, which looked like a scooter having an identity crisis. But the Samis? It was his quiet electric revolution. No emissions, no gears, no conventional anything. Just pure, clean, what the heck am I sitting in innovation? Let's be real though, it never hit mass production. No surprise there. It's hard to convince people to buy a car with no pedals during a time when most folks were still getting excited about radios with cassette decks. But that doesn't mean it wasn't brilliant. It was the prototype that said, what if cars didn't suck the planet dry in an era where gas guzzling was basically a competitive sport? Now about the price, well, there isn't one. It was never sold. It's a prototype, a one-off, a museum piece. But if it were sold today, I think you'd be paying not just for the vehicle, but for the right to say, I own a car that doesn't have a steering wheel. So what does that mean for you, dear viewer? It means that while you might not be able to drive a Samis, you can definitely appreciate it. Which, by the way, is also a great way to scare off insurance agents and first dates. Maybe even build your own if you've got spare buttons, 320 kilograms of ambition, and absolutely no fear of public ridicule. And hey, if you're curious what other weird and wonderful contraptions Justin Capra cooked up, spoiler, some of them make the Samus look downright normal, drop a comment below. Seriously, the man was like Doc Brown on a caffeine bender. Let me know if you want me to dig deeper. Also, if you laughed even once, or groaned while thinking, this guy again? Consider becoming a sponsor of our channel for just one United States dollar. That's right, one buck. You'll help us keep the lights on and keep digging up bizarre beauties like this. Sponsorship link is in the description below, right next to the invisible steering wheel. See you next time, and remember, if your car has too many buttons, you might just be driving a piece of forgotten genius, or you sat on the remote again.